Here we can see both of the equations are same, but we will be using the different values. So for x is equal to 2, we get y is equal to 3. And for x is equal to 8, we get y is equal to minus 3. Now let us plot the points 0, 5, 6, minus 1, 2, 3 and 8, minus 3 on a separate graph sheet. Let us see our graph paper. So now first plotting point 0, 5. Taking 0 on x axis and taking 5 on y axis, therefore we get up this point as 0, 5. Let us name it as A. Similarly, plotting the point 6, minus 1. Taking 6 on x axis and minus 1 on y axis, we get this point as our 6, minus 1 and naming it as B. Now, now joining A, B. Now, let us join A, B. Now, we have joined A, B. And this is our required line, x plus y is equal to 5. Now, similarly, plotting the points 2, comma 3 and 8, comma minus 3. 2, comma 3, taking 2 on x axis and 3 on y axis, we get this point as 2, comma 3 and naming it as C. Now, similarly, plotting point 8, comma, minus 3, we get 8 on x-axis and minus 3 on y-axis. So, we get this point as our 8, comma, minus 3 and name it as D. Extending this line, we see that D will lie on the same line. Therefore, we can see both the lines of equation x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 10 are same. Therefore, this is our required line. And we can see that both the lines AB and CD coincide. Therefore, we can write our solution as Thus, when the lines coincide, there are infinitely many solutions. Hence, this is our required answer. I hope you understood the problem. Bye and have a nice day.